Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey and in this video we're going to be talking about safety on Microsoft's latest operating system, Windows 10. Having an up-to-date OS is definitely the first step in staying safe from viruses and different kinds of malicious programs. With Windows 10, updating the system is pretty much a must whether you like it or not. It is possible to turn off automatic updates in Windows 10, but Microsoft has made this option much less accessible as opposed to older versions where you could easily avoid downloading updates, even the critical security ones. Since Windows 8, this OS comes with its own antivirus program called Windows Defender. It basically does what any antivirus is made for. It gives you real-time protection from viruses and malicious programs, and removes or quarantines the ones that manage to get through. As opposed to other antiviruses, you don't really have to worry or even be thinking about Windows Defender at any time. It comes with the operating system, automatically turns itself on, and downloads updates and virus definitions through regular Windows updates. The way it functions is so simple that there are really no questions about it, but the question that does present itself is, do you really need another antivirus if you are running Windows Defender on an updated Windows 10? Well, let's see. While conducting standard tests of antivirus programs, the Independent Institute of IT Security actually gave Windows Defender a very low rating, 0.5 out of 6 for protection. Microsoft did dispute these results by stating that the antivirus comparison test did not accurately reflect the protection that Windows has to offer or what the customers are actually experiencing. Windows 10 does come with other security features like Smart Screen, a program that prevents unknown and malicious programs from running. Microsoft explains how Windows Defender works with other security features built into Windows 10, such as Smart Screen, in order to offer full protection. Therefore, testing it separately will show lower results in comparison to the ones end users experience using the full featured OS. And really despite the low scores, in June of 2015, Windows Defender still managed to catch 95% of the widespread and prevalent malware along with 85% of the zero-day attacks. For reference, tested samples of Bitdefender managed to score 100% in both categories while Kaspersky managed 100% in one and 99% in the other. So despite the low score, it would seem that Windows Defender actually doesn't perform that catastrophically. Nevertheless, one could say that it actually does a decent job. But should you really use Windows 10 with only the Windows Defender antivirus? Well, if you really refuse to take a couple of minutes to install a free antivirus like AVG or Avast, do it at your own risk. Assuming that the user has common sense and safety knowledge in everyday internet browsing, Windows Defender just might be good enough for a great deal of PCs. But even though it does do a decent job, the fact of the matter is that tests show that other antivirus programs still offer better protection against malware, especially if you engage in deeper web exploration, downloading torrents, cracked programs, and freeware, Installing a free antivirus program is most certainly the safer choice to make. We really can't talk about safety on an OS without touching the subject of privacy, especially if it's one that has been accused of literally scanning your every action. But are those accusations really true? Well, to an extent. While Microsoft doesn't really scan your every action on Windows 10, they do take a lot of your information gathered from your activities in order to mold their product to suit your needs and habits. The Cortana Assistant is a fine example for that. If the Hey Cortana voice command is on, Microsoft is literally always listening. Not only does it listen to what you speak, but it also keeps an eye on your keyboard strokes in order to more efficiently learn speech patterns. This is done through the Get to Know Me feature that can be turned on or off in the settings area. Another thing that bothers users is the fact that advertisers can use their search history and interests for their ad placement. This can also be turned on or off through the settings. Notice how the words on and off are mentioned in all these cases. That's something that almost all of the Windows 10 adversaries are failing to acknowledge. One could debate that these features are a form of spying on users, 
The same way someone else could argue that they are simply there for the purpose of making Windows a better operating system. Whichever case it may be, the fact of the matter is that you can still choose whether to let Microsoft use your information or not. For the final verdict, well, that's something you are going to have to make for yourself. I'll just sum it up by saying that Windows 10 offers basic protection against malware by itself and with an additional free antivirus, you'll be as protected as an average user can be these days. When it comes to privacy, truth is that Microsoft is watching and listening more than before, but so is every other cloud-based OS that we use every day like Android and iOS. The important thing is that you have a choice and you can decide whether you will allow it or not. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. If you found the video informative, please leave a like and share it with your friends. For more videos on Windows 10, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.